Hi, and welcome to our recorded training session on An Introduction to Kaveo Search. The goal of this training is to introduce users to Kaveo Search. This session is designed for anyone who uses Search regularly in their ta daily tasks and wants to understand the features and benefits of the Kaveo Search experience. In this session, we will learn about the features and capabilities of Kaveo Search and we will explain why Kaveo is different from other search engines. By the end of this course, you will have developed a solid understanding of the basics of Kaveo Search, including context, navigation, and relevancy. So what sets Kaveo Search apart from other search engines? Context. Kaveo Context is use of filters and settings to preset, first, how search will be performed, and secondly, how results are viewed. For example, a preset filter that will make your search terms match a subset of content in the Kaveo index. Establishing context is crucial as it must provide an experience that can be fully understood and assessed by the user. Context defines the search experience because a user with no context lacks direction. A query is just random terms if not set within the parameters of a user's context. Otherwise, users will have a tendency to write overly wordy searches to compensate for the lack of context, like full sentence search, which Kaveo fully supports. But by leveraging a clearly defined context, users get the benefit of getting better results with less effort, because they can be more precise with a minimal number of search terms. Another key differentiator is relevancy. The user knowing that he will always receive the proper content within the given context, his attention will be focused on how meaningful are the results. Relevance now becomes key to the search experience. Uniformity is the last differentiator. The Kaveo index pulls all content equally regardless of its source. Whether the content is pulled from Salesforce, a file share, a website, database, or exchange, all of these sources of content are unified under the Kaveo proprietary index, which allows us to uniquely match terms and evaluate ranking in a very comprehensive way. This provides a consistent experience and is available on all of our user interfaces, meaning the capabilities and features are the same on websites or embedded applications across all devices. And that is how Kaveo Search provides information every time, everywhere, for everyone. This is a standard view of a Kaveo search page. We separate the page into multiple sections. We will look into each of these in greater detail. At the top of the page is where we establish context. As we had defined, filters and settings preset the context in which will be performed your query. On the left hand side, we have navigation. Navigation is made up of facets which help to navigate, filter, and refine results that are retrieved by the query. And the results section, providing the list of content returned for the query that was entered above in the context section. In the context section, there are three different capabilities used to formulate your query. At the very top are tabs. We also have the search box where you enter your terms, and to the right of the search box are personal settings. Tabs play an important role in establishing context. They provide context to the Kaveo index regarding the content you would like to search. In most cases, all is selected by default, which will match your query to all the content in the Kaveo index. However, other tabs may have been defined to target your search on more specific content. So tabs bring focus to your query by pre-filtering the content to be matched. Other examples on scoping the filter of a tab may be by product, by service, by task, or even by department. The search box is where the user enters the descriptive words or terms to send to the Kaveo index. Search box features are meant to reduce the effort in formulating queries and are configured by your Kaveo administrator. These features include query suggestions, 
which recommends relevant queries to users as they type in the search box. Covio supports many query suggestion models, all of which to provide contextually aligned queries to your search terms. Search as you type provides instant results and continues to narrow results with every keystroke. Term correction uses the did you mean and thesaurus capabilities to correct any misspelling by either suggesting or correcting search terms. Expansion broadens the reach of your query to match more content in the index through capabilities such as stemming or use of wildcards. Settings control sharing and notification of search results without removing the context, such as share a query, allows the user to send a link to another user that will include the search within their defined permissions. Export to Excel allows users to export the search results to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The Excel file contains the values of all the fields of the exported search results. Follow and Alerts tags a chosen query to receive a notification of a list of results to review. Use this feature for queries that you perform often or that the results change frequently. And within Preferences, a user can add a pre-filtering query. This will add to the context provided by the selected tab. Now that we have completed an overview of how context is defined, let's focus on navigation. Navigation on the left enables users to browse, filter, and refine through the numerous results that have matched the query using a series of facets. A facet is a filter made of a list of values for a given criteria, allowing users to easily narrow search results. Here, an example of a facet that allows you to filter by month. By selecting one or more months, the list of results will be narrowed down. This effect can be predicted with the count, the number of impacted results, by including or excluding the values. If configured by the Caveo administrator, the user may change the sorting of facet values or, even, collapse them to limit the facet space on the search page. Some facets may be applicable to a specific tab, where others may span multiple tabs. This leaves us with our last section, results. The result list is composed of two elements. Information on the outcome of processing your query and how the results are sorted, and the list of results. So along with the list of results, a user will be shown the total number of matching results and the time required to match and rank. By default, the result list is displayed and sorted using Caveo's relevancy algorithm. Other options for sorting may be configured by the Caveo administrator, such as by date, priority, file size, and more. Results may look differently from one another. What a result displays can be configured by your Caveo administrator. For example, Results for PDF documents may display content and properties differently than a Word document. Nonetheless, some information remains a standard to apply, such as providing an icon for quick identification of result type, the date of creation, or again, an excerpt of sentences in which, highlighted, are the matching terms. Additional details will be visible by selecting the down arrow. This provides more information about the specific result, like language or the author. That being said, why use Caveo? Because Caveo provides all required knowledge, timely and relevant, within the context of each and every person. It does this by pre-filtering queries using a specific context, including user permissions, allowing users to be more precise with less keywords, use of many features to support query formulation, post-filtering results using related filters, and also because Caveo gives timely access to contextually relevant information, making knowledge actionable. The benefit is efficient decision-making possible by customers and users finding what they need to carry out their task, users becoming self-reliant and capable handling tasks of greater complexity. Time saved to retrieve, analyze, and take action. 
This concludes our training on an introduction to Coveo Search. To learn more and practice using some of the features thought in this course, visit search.coveo.com. Additionally, you can take the next course in this series, register for our course on Coveo Fundamentals. To learn more about Coveo, visit us at coveo.com.